Hello. That'll work. That'll work. Put that right there so we don't. Hi. I'm early. Are you late? <laughs> Ooh. What's my bottom? This is not my regular time. It's a pop-up, essentially. My regular time, I mean, you know, the time that I always tell everybody is 2 and 4 o'clock. No, 4 o'clock. Central Standard Time on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Hey, Tanya and Ms. Lynn. Howdy. We're going to have us some fun today. Watch this turn out to be a masterpiece, and I've put it on a piece of board that has a crack in it. Oh, well. I doubt the masterpiece part. So what y'all been doing today? Lynn, did you have an easy day? Y'all chit-chat. I'm trying to get ahead of... Ow, 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 that's hot on your finger, but just like a wax, candle wax. Remember as a kid, you double dog dare people to put the candle wax, put the candle out with your fingers. Same, same. See, if I can get this much done, then we don't have to spend a whole lot of time worrying with it. And I'm going to use my torch while... Remember it? No. I think we're going to call that done. That is three good quotes. Now, somewhat easy. Good. I've been somewhat easy in here in my studio. I have to takes me about 30 minutes to clean up what we did yesterday. And before you ask, I know there's a cord. There's not much I can do about it. Maybe that'll help. Help a little. Worse. That's the cord to the camera, and I cannot do anything about it, guys. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'm not touching anything. 
I'll move it just a little. Well, maybe that was better right there. All righty. Letting this cool down a little bit. Just sit here for a little bit and chit chat. Wait for other folks to come in. It's a pretty day here today. We've got 45. Well, mate, no, 50 sticks. It was a three dog night last night, but our two tried to fill it, fill the three spot. So. They'd be good. I have to keep looking at my stuff. We've had a good week, I think. We've done a little watercolor, a little graphite, a little pan pastel, collage. We didn't do any image transfer. Um, we learned a lot about the encaustic medium. We learned a lot about... <laughs> that is a perfect watercolor wash <laughs> on plaster paint. <laughs> it doesn't like it. <laughs> Makes you appreciate watercolor paper. And I've got some clumpies of wax up here that need to come off as soon as it gets cool enough. Yes. There it is. Yeah, I'm going to show you how I did it here in a minute. I wanted to do the big one because this is our prime project today. And I wanted to get it out of our way. See, I'm thinking about you guys all the time. It's really a cool pattern, not the one I would have preferred, but it's still a cool pattern. It's a little bit mottled and a little bit streaky. Kind of looks like a, a, a rainstorm. Excuse me. You'll know when you started too soon when you pull up wax all the way to the board like I did one day this week. I've also, I hope, shown you things not to do like that. You got to clean your tool off occasionally or it'll deposit it right back on. Today I've got my big griddle going. Because I thought we might play with some colored wax. Crap.
they make small clay tools too. Um, you can find them in the Primo clay area. Just evening it up. Basically, what I want anyone to take away from this week is don't be don't be scared. It's non toxic for the most part. But read up on it from professional users or an association or something like that. That's where you'll get your best information because you do not want something that someone heard three or four steps removed. You want to get your own and I mean that for what I say to you, too. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, cool, huh? It's, it's really not flat. It's not totally white down here. Ooh, I feel one. Just a little bit. A bit of a wide spot in the road right there. Okay, well, that's good. We're going to say it's good. Who else is here? I'm spinning. Okay. I didn't notice that I need to pay more attention. Yep. And I'm still, still live. We're going to give it a few more minutes, and then we'll go. We'll have a bunch come in later. With my streams, I aim for content, and that content never gets old. And it never really changes. So it's good for a long time. I'm fiddling is what I'm doing right now. Storm clouds on the horizon. Okay, back away from the scraper. It is Friday afternoon, so... Um, Everybody and their dog may be on the internet for a while. I wish you could see that without the, there, without the lighting glare. Doesn't that look like a rainstorm? Remember, if it spins or if it goes black, sit tight. This is coming to you by StreamYard, and they will pick the stream right back up where it left off um, if you've watched very many lives you'll know that with youtube you have to completely start a new stream and hope that everybody migrates from the old one to the new one so Streamyard is great for that because you do not have to start a new stream and a lot of times i can still talk to you Unplug that. A 
Okie dokie. It's 4.06. What I did here, and this is an experiment, so if you try this at home, understand that it is an experiment. I have encaustic gesso, and I couldn't find it. So that's what I was going to put on the raw Luan board like I've been using the last couple of days because I wanted a white background. So I got to thinking about this um, Waverly plastic uh, plaster chalk. I'll get it in a minute. It's a chalk group, and this color is plaster. I'll get it right in a minute. Walmart now has the cutest little two ounce bottles in this. All of my big ones are beginning to dry up. So because this ended up working well for my silver point demo that I did, or well, not demo, but I've, I've used it a lot with silver point because it's got enough grit in it. And so I decided I'd go ahead and use it and see what happens. I doubt if anything will happen, but be warned. So I put two coats of that on, and then I, this was a clean brush. Um, it's one of our, it's one of the hockey brushes. This one's by Mandalay. I think that's Jerry's Artorama brand. And then I just softened all the, all the uh, brush marks. and everything. I put it on with a credit card, but I smoothed all the lumps and bubbies. And then I mixed up a really, really dark blue watercolor um, using core paints gray Windsor Newton cobalt green Daniel Smith lapis not so much of that because it's real hard to re-wet and I can't see what that one is And this is Winter Newton Indigo. Their pans are printed on the side if it's a pan instead of a filled from a tube. Okay, any questions? No questions? Because this, and, and here's the trick. That plaster or the chalk Waverly, while it has a rough finish like chalk, um, it's still got an acrylic base. So that means two things. We've all heard that you can't use acrylic with encaustic medium. And we've also known, we also know if you've done watercolor, watercolor on top of an acrylic gesso can be dicey. This board had a crack in it that showed up after I got all of this done. Um, so I did the best I could with this surface to get a, a uh, graduated wash all the way down. But it insisted on hanging up in some areas and then dripping to the bottom in some. So I did a lot of uh, taking a paper towel and just doing this, which gave me a little bit of a model. Anytime you start out with an idea, chances are your muse is going to get your attention. So just be prepared for it and work through it. And I'm going to put that up right now and show you what I did. I'll put it right over there. Okay, there we go. I don't want a whole lot of water. This is a yes. Patented priming accepts all medium. Let's see what it says. We fall into the anything else you want to paint with category. 
So this is what I did. And I think I'm going to spray the board. Watercolor paper doesn't do this. So now I want my darkest part here at the top. So I'm going to let it move on its own for a minute and see what it does. So much fun just watching the paint move. <laughs> And now I'm going to tilt it that way a little bit, where the dark was gathering. Spray it a little bit. I don't want that big one. I want this little one. And I want it to move down that way. Let's move that way. I love this sprayer. It's Timmy's Distress Sprayer, and it's very economical. And it's got a great sprayer in it. I'm just playing and letting this do what it wants to do. Get a pretty good a pretty good gradation. Now watercolor paper doesn't work like this. And this is a different surface than what I put mine on. That must be something on there. There's an old adage, leave it alone, let it do what it wants to do. But I just didn't, did I? <laughs> the correct way to do that is wait until it dries. And then come back in with a darker coat. Those little spots right there might be, you no, know, maybe something in the canvas. These little things, I think I got three a three pack for two dollars, which is really a good price. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna dry it now because it's. Close to quitting moving. There's a reason they call these heat guns.
be very careful with that second coat because you will interrupt the one below it if you rub it too much. This has a very little spray. It's good. So this is what I did on the big one, even down to the thumbprints. It's a lot darker here than it is for y'all. I'm going to dry it because I pretty much like the way it is. I'm holding my heat gun up a little bit higher so that it doesn't move too much. That's pretty lean of water. Stay where it is. Good. That is what I did. Put that away. Put those to the side. Now. Look at the difference in the color. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot, but this is a little softer. Totally cold now. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Now I'm going to paint a leaf on top of this with colored wax. Another one of those damned old synthetic brushes. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. No, I don't need a, well, maybe a rigger. I don't need that big one. I don't think. Give it a minute for these brushes to melt. Synthetic brushes are so 
inexpensive and the ones that you ruin doing another medium work great for wax so just just shuffle them from one medium to the other see that one's already good 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 i've got my that one's good i've got my temperature gauge set for 200 and i'm just a hair over 200 I'm going to turn it down just a little. That flat temperature gauge is worth its weight in gold. I want a leaf that's about that big. So about three inches. That's too little. Too little. Well, we'll just measure it. About like that. So about three inches that way equals about three inches this way. And I want it bigger. So I want it there and there. Mm, I'm going to mix up this melted paint. Come on now. I put the, um, I got you yellow. <laughs> now that I did that. I don't want anything quite that stark. These are paints I've made, colors I've made. So quickly, because this isn't going to stay too long, I want here and here. So that's not, that's close to center. Do, do. There. There's my leaf. And I could make it a little bit bigger, and I think I will. Come over here. Come down here. Boot. Boot. Let me come back over here. Um, let me hold this. I'm just going to measure roughly, that's roughly half where I've got my top point. No, you're not using that one. You're using this one. You getting a sense for how fast it dries?
Come on, here. Y'all can't see it because I did it in yellow. Mm. Push it up a little bit. Okay, there's my outline, sort of. Now, until I've used this yellow to the white, I can take my X-Acto knife and it'll come right off. So there's no point in doing that until I want to put another layer on the yellow. And then after that, I would use it. But as long as you're working on this particular surface, you don't have to do anything to it. Um, I'm going to make this leaf float, which means that you can kind of see it with my hand. There's not floating. I'm touching the surface. Watch what happens when I pull away. The further away the shadow is, the higher it looks like it's floating. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. And my light my favorite light is from the upper left corner, so that means my shadow would be down. And I'm deciding right now what I want to do first. I think what I want to do first is mix up a little bit of orange. Then we've got some orange up here. I don't want to use that brush. And while you're thinking, always put your brush back on the plate. And I think I told y'all yesterday I used this plate, this anodized plate for the color. Yeah, see, it's just like mixing any other color. This plate is hot and the paint is hot. Now, 200 degrees, you know. You bored yet? Good, y'all are able to see 
a little bit of all of it. And the ease with which you can mix your own color belies the old wives' tale that it's really, really hard. It's not. And particularly if you just stick to three primaries. Okie doke. Could you combine this? Oh, sure. We can do that if you want to. We learned yesterday, though, that remember that um, light colors just don't work with pastel, but we can use it. We can use it. Leaves are easy because you pretty well just block in a color. And So have you ordered your medium yet, Lynn? And I know you know how to mix color. Damn it, yes. <laughs> God, you got to love it. I'm just kind of blending the colors. I'm paying attention a little bit to the to the color, but I'm just trying to get a kind of a blend. We've got six watching now. Hello, guys, in the background. I'm going to fuse this just a little. I'm going to use my blowtorch because I can get a more concentrated. Mm. 
now. <laughs> Isn't that cool? The reed just almost blended itself. Now then, let's add a little bit of our ultramarine blue and a little bit of our red in with that yellow. And looky there, it's a brown. Go to the rigger. This is going to be tricky to get it over there fast enough. No, well, that didn't work too bad. It's easier than I thought it was going to be. Now I'm going to go ahead and put these little ones in. Now what I can do with my knife is come back and thin those a little bit by scraping them. Okay, now we just got some little spidery ones over there. Now a little one right there. Okay, now I need the stem, and I, if I need this darker, I can always do it darker. Well, crapola. Oh, well. I was going to paint it with the dark at the bottom. Too late now. It'll be fun. What you think you want when you start out is what you get. And I better put jewelry and encaustic don't mix. Neither do grown up glasses and encaustic. My other ones are across the room. Just whittle these down. Oops. Kind of whittled that one down too far. And of course I can't see, so... These grown-up glasses aren't good for anything.
any little spots that I cut too much. I think it's. kind of want your lines to be irregular choke way back on your on your napping well that's a good one you just missed that all together Say choke back so you can get as much of the flat of the blade on the surface as you can. Hey, Wendy. Got everybody fed and ready for bed? Every little painting, journal page, whatever that you're working on goes through an ugly stage. And the key is just keep working with it until you get it. Where you did that? Okay. And once you start fighting it, stop fighting it and let it kind of develop its own personality it'll come back Remember I said it's all push and pull. You put it on, you take it off. So everything I showed you, I also showed you this week how to make your own colors. Excuse me. You 
There's one spot I can see clearly, and it's uh, not that comfortable position. <laughs> Now, there's all kinds of ways for this. I could have dug a trench like we did the other day with the string. Filled it with color, hot wax, or oil paint. So it's just what you decide to do right then. I like the idea of doing a little sampler. We did that first thing in the week. Like I said, remember to do your own research. It's fine to experiment as long as you have a basic understanding of what that material is that you're playing with. Showing you how to make your own medium. Not that you want to. But so that you'll remember that we talked about it. Okay, now let's see what other kind of a mess I can make. I'm going to come back in next to the... Ow, hot. <laughs> Dressing up against that hot tin doesn't remain hot very long. Heck, someone died. What kind of a reddish color now? I don't want those veins to stand out quite so much.
Hit say in one. Yeah, it's all wax, the encaustic medium with a little bit of oil paint. Now I'm going to torch it. It's all it needs. Fuses the colors together and kind of blends them a little bit. Yeah, let's do just a little more red up here. Just a little different color. See, leaves are easy. They're fun because nobody knows what they look like. What do you think? What do you think? You take care of little old gypsy. You see, I'm darting back and forth when I'm done to keep my brush from getting too hard. While I think about what I want next. Clean some of these. Or I want to clean some of these areas. definitely easier to scrape before you fuse it.
you can get your drawing on there any way you want to. You can use a carbon paper. You can use anything that will mark on the wax. Oops, get down where I can see it and you can see it both. Being real quiet now. Sorry. Cleaning up a little bit. Oops, it's over here. Well, that didn't take long. Ours have to go out and read the newspaper. All right. It's been an hour. Well, if you don't count what's, what I did before y'all got here. Makes them graceful. You could go out in your yard and get a pretty maple leaf or leaf with color. What do we got going on down here? You can embed that leaf and then brush wax on top of it. Maybe two coats, and then you can pull the leaf out, and you'll have an indentation that you can just come in there and fill. Okay, I'm going to seal it just a little bit more. It helps get those colors mushed together a little bit, kind of like when you watercolor and you get you get two colors to mix together. Uh, probably a grayish brown. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put that on there too. Now to get a gray, mix all three colors together. And then um, thin it with some medium. 
similar to what you do with anything else. And then I'm going to test my color. See shadows over here. Are y'all still seeing good? Maybe it's just a little bit more blue. You know, the reason that this works is because the colors I've used in here are the same colors I use in the dark. Used on the leaf, I mean, not the dark. No, this back. Now cast shadows. Are real sharp and dark right up next to the item. And then they're they fade away as they get further away from I kind of got a little bit carried away there. Easy enough. Now let's see if that made a difference. I'm making this up as I go along, by the way. Okay, now what's more? I think it would be a good idea to start with the... Uh, be careful now. And this one ain't the light first, maybe. Yeah, that's a better idea. Put the put the dark on. Uh, put the almost clear on first. Now that's still a little bit dark. And that's wrong. <laughs> this should come down more like that. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna see what happens. I'm 
I'm just going to try to get the edge of that. That didn't really work. I wanted to see if I could blend that edge out. Maybe just put some of that clear. Talking to myself. Any lines that may have mounted a little bit when you fuse, just come back and clean them up a little. Trying to see if there's anything else. I'm getting nitpicky. All right. What does it need? I'll put clear over the top. And that also helps. Uh, I've got a whole lot a pattern in there probably need to get rid of some I don't want it to be that strong so just scumble a little bit of
Now, if you like this texture, you're fine to go ahead and leave it. And all the leaves are different, so, you know, different states of brown and red. And nobody knows what your leaf looks like. That's what I say about painting people. Picasso may have had it right. You know, put their eyes on both sides of their heads instead of in the middle. And leaves are the same way. Nobody knows what your leaf looked like. If you can tell it's a leaf, then by golly, I think you're done. A little more yellow, just. Brighten it up a bit. Now, I'm kind of, remember the other day when I showed you the. Um, <laughs> The dry brush accretion. I'll get it in a minute. That's a little bit of what I'm doing here. And then when I fuse it, that should soften those areas a little. You cut a leaf out of a magazine and do that, collage it. Doggone it, I just hit myself on my glasses. Any old brush will do. We outlined something yesterday. I used a stabilo all pencil and it worked ooh yeah you need to get some of those Wendy my um Shadow didn't env didn't turn out exactly like I envisioned it, but Hi, Deza. Romania. Cool. Can you see it a little better there? The lights are all blown out because of the... That would be a little bit of shadow. Ow. Who's... There would be some shadow right here. And these would all fall. Wouldn't be any there because it'd be falling straight. 
It might help it just a little. I'm so glad you joined us, Deza. It's fun to have people from different countries. Okay, I'm looking real close at it. See if y'all see. There is texture in that leaf. But when I put clear stuff on top of it, which I'm going to do if y'all don't see anything. Anything? Hi, Patricia. Okie dokie, then I am going to layer it. I mean, I'm going to um, wax it. Here we go. Uh oh. My cord's kind of moved. I'm going to use the hot gun now. I've been using the torch. Um, once again I was holding this up vertically and that gave me a big concentration of wax up there but I love the way this looked with that model watercolor background still got a little bit of texture a few little air bubbles which is fine let that cool and then we'll see where we go from there. Oh, 530. This may be the only thing that I...
let's see if we can get it a little bit brighter. Pan pastels. Now they may very well dissolve. We did some of that this week too. It's a little bit of orange. It just glides over the surface. With the greatest of ease, the daring young man and the blind trapeze. Thank you, thank you, thank you, just a Just a culmination of a great week. We've covered an awful lot about encaustic. I've made mistakes. We've learned how to correct them. It's my favorite part. I got a little bit too heavy handed right here. What piece with the rope? Oh, yeah. I'm glad y'all are doing that. Talking about your favorites, and if I would get off my lazy butt and quit streaming, <laughs> I would fix these up on my sale page. And if I'm going to do that, I probably better sign this one. Scratching my nose. World Gym is not a valuable pencil, so. This pencil is writing down to the board. All 
right, I think I'm leaving it just like that. Now I'm going to put one more coat of wax. Try to leave it flat. How am I going to do that? I'm going to do it right over here on the thing so I can keep it flat. And I don't want to get so many of those like I did. Fuse. Now then, put a little booger shit in there. Hey, Shereen, my little Irish friend. I hope you guys have had fun this week. Next week, I may do some oil painting again. I want to work on Three's painting. And then I want to do a week of soft pastels. Those two have a real bad reputation. And they are beautiful. And they don't deserve that bad reputation. Which just means I'm going to have to get my soft pastel corner cleaned up. But let's say, let's say oil next week and y'all can watch me paint. We'll be quiet next week. And I'll probably paint every day. So just mark your calendars and come if you can. And if you can't, watch it on replay. And uh, be sure and like this and spread the word if you liked it see this looks kind of realistic over here and I, probably the darkness didn't help it any but it still looks like it's floating and that was the goal, right? The replays will be up forever. So feel free to go back and rewatch. These are my special version of teaching. I always learned the most from the teachers who would let their mistakes show and then they showed how they fixed them. And those were the teachers, the tutors that I learned the most from. Anybody can do something if you 
paint it five times before you film it. Scraping very thin layers off now. Well, that one wasn't so thick. I think you cut a divot there. My little friend. So today we put watercolor on, and then we put wax layers on top of the watercolor, and then we painted a leaf with colored wax, and that's a pretty cool technique. Watercolor on top of the wax, if y'all are watercolorist, isn't that good an idea because it beads up. Alcohol ink would be is great and it should behave just fine on top of the wax. We didn't do any of that, but any questions? Thanks, Sherry. I have permission to call her that. Because well, that's just the way I roll. Just a little bit more along this edge. All right, let's give it a little buff. It's fairly cool. And you can always come back, make changes. Add to it, take away. Tomorrow's when it will. Buff up easy. It's still just a little bit sticky. Didn't get a whole lot of shine, but some. See? And people walk into your house and go, oh my God, what is that? And you say, pick it up and smell it. I didn't call you anything. Thanks. Shiny. All right. I am going to quit for the week. Oh, i got to go back a little bit. Um, Wendy. Yeah, soft pastel. A lot of these artist techniques and mediums, you really do need a little bit of um, not education so much, but you need to hear somebody who knows what they're doing, talk you through it. And then you'll go, just like I think y'all did with encaustic, you'll go, that's easy. Why did I always think it was so hard? Oh, Shereen. <laughs> Because I never heard it pronounced, and to me it looked like Shireen, which then said Irish. I think it's exotic. Yeah, it's um, like we talked about earlier in the week. You can, you can keep going. You can get it smooth as glass. You can leave some texture, whatever you feel like doing. And um, soft pastels are very easy to get a hold of. I'm not real, uh, 
I'm not up on all the new student qualities that have come out, like the ones from Meng Yo, a Korean brand. Um, but we'll tackle that just like we did this. And I've got some sidewalk chalk I can use. <laughs> and that's a joke with Lynn. <laughs> all right. I'm going to go, fellas. It's a great week. And I hope you enjoyed it. I love you. And I'll see you later. And thumbs up. Bye.